Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 5 once again, and before we start this video, if you guys have any theories about Supergirl, The Flash, Arrow, Legends, anything, even Titans, and you want me to make a video, please be sure to let me know in the comments down below, because obviously it's a bit harder right now that the show's on on, and if you guys have any theories or anything you want me to go over, I'll be sure to actually get onto that. So yes, in today's video we're going to be talking about The Flash and what could be happening later on in the season. So a few days ago we got some teasers from Grant Gustin and Todd Helbing, the showrunner, and they teased about some timeline changes. And we're going to be talking about the timeline and, you know, how things may end off at the end of the season. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So, like I mentioned, there was an interview the other day on GameSpot. I actually talked about this yesterday, but I want to specifically talk about one section of this interview, and this is this part. I'm going to read it out right now, so here's how it goes. We will also have to wait to see whether Barry and Nora travelling back in time will have any impact on the timeline. That's Todd Helbing saying that. I feel like towards the end of the season is where we're going to see what kind of repercussions episode 100 had, Gustin said. Helbing meanwhile teased, there's something that will happen probably way down the line that you realise but no. Right now, we're not playing it in the same way like that we do. So it's a bit cryptic in the way they actually replied to the interviewer, but essentially what they're teasing is, yes, there will be repercussions, but right now, we won't really see too many of those repercussions from what episode 100 did, but later on down the line in this season, obviously with the timeline changes and things like that, there's going to be repercussions, but they're not playing it in the way they normally do it because right now there's no sort of major hints that we're going to get until later in the season as helping actually teases to us. But yes, what could these be? So this is where we go into theory time. And so let's track back and realize and just remember what happened in the 100th episode. So in the 100th episode, the first time we time travel, we went to see Savitar, and we saw Savitar, but Savitar didn't see Barry or Nora, so that wasn't a problem, and the only thing that really happened there was they took the piece from his suit, and then they ran back, and they time traveled, and they were chased by a time wraith only due to Barry traveling back in time, not due to Nora. So there's no major timeline changes apart from they did take a piece from that event and they brought it to another time and that's when we go back and what happens next is we go back and we meet zoom and we see teddy sears return we hear the proper zoom voice there's new scenes and so zoom this is the major sort of timeline change because this version of zoom is taken off by a time wraith as he chases barry and nora and he knows that in the future barry is alive barry's fine barry's got his speed and that's why he's chasing them to try and take both of their speeds and so he knows of nora he knows that she's a speedster that there's other speedsters in the future so that changes the timeline that will have repercussions because that wouldn't make any sense if with him knowing and presumably he survives because that's not the end of the season he actually gets out of it and somehow escapes this time wraith then this version of zoom knows about this future stuff they will time travel back to that specific time something is going to be changed in the timeline surely so i think this could lead to maybe zoom returning sometime later in the season i think that would be amazing i'm totally down for it i'm sure most of you guys would be but also it's kind of out there because I don't really know if they're going to bring Zoom back. I think maybe it was just a one-time thing for episode 100, but that should have timeline changes and we'll have to wait and see. And then after that, we actually go back in time and we meet Eobard Thorne from season 1 with the season 2 version of Barry time traveling back at the same time. And they do have full-on conversations. They have a full-on interaction with many scenes with them all together talking whilst he's trying to fix the device that they want to use to stop Cicada in the future and then they go back obviously again. They meet the earlier version of Thorn when he is actually in Star Labs and Barry gets struck by lightning etc. Things like that happen and so with this interaction 
he finds out that Nora exists. He finds this version of Thorn, which we specifically know is actually just stopped by the time that he gets erased but also he does have this information about barry having a daughter and he knows of a daughter called dawn so i'm guessing that's going to play in somehow later in the season because why would they name drop it for no reason and so maybe it's the fact that she has a twin or in the original timeline there was no nora and it was actually dawn and so maybe the timeline change is maybe to do with their interaction there but Anyway, moving past the 100th episode, so what could be the timeline changes in regards to this whole season as a whole? Because Nora has been time traveling a lot, we know this. And so if Nora actually tries and succeeds in stopping Barry from disappearing in the future, as she plans to do, which is in 2024, if she plans and actually does that and saves Barry, so he doesn't disappear and he actually lives happily, he has the daughter with Iris and they call her Nora or they call her Dawn, this version of Nora would cease to exist because she would have grown up with her parents, with both of them together and she wouldn't have the motivation to come back in time and so everything would not work, everything would go wrong and she would be erased from existence essentially if she did this in order to spend more time with her father and so really the way that the timeline goes she won't be able to actually change this in the end and I think she will find out unless she takes an evil turn by the reverse flash's hand sometime later in the season I think she's going to continue trying to do this and trying to actually complete her mission in trying to save Barry and in the end it just there is no way of it working out as far as you can sort of theorize about and look at how the timeline places together the fact that we're in 2018, 2024 he's supposed to vanish, then he never reappears at least until 2049 when Nora is actually in the future and that's her current day most likely. So if her and the reverse flash actually do succeed she's going to be erased. And also everything that has happened before would be changed and the timeline would change and no one would really know of Nora and same thing goes for Reverse Flash so I don't see how it actually benefits him anyway him in any way because Nora wouldn't have actually come to him in the first place if they changed that in the past to them so in 2024 so when you add it all up and think about it logically it makes no sense so I expect some sort of twist later in the season most likely that Barry will disappear in 2024 and maybe this is the idea that maybe the crisis event won't happen in 2024 but a different scale of crisis happens and maybe it's a bit different they change it a bit and then crisis is next year rather than in 2024 maybe Barry disappears next year in the crossover I think that's a theory that you can think about I don't know how realistic it is and so as we head towards the end of this video I just want to say in regards to my theory videos and just theories in general like if you read articles if you watch other people's videos they can be very confusing because we have to sort of word this in a way that comes across from our minds and that can be confusing because you know it makes sense to us the person making this you know coming up with the theories so if this is a little bit hard to grasp I would probably suggest either watching it again or looking at someone else's theories online because I'm sure some people have very similar ideas so that's about it for this video guys so if you do want to see more theory videos like this where I sort of just ramble on and theorize about everything that could be going on in the future so let me know in the comments below if you do want that and also, if you want to see more from me, please be sure to subscribe to my movie podcast channel. We talked about Aquaman the other day. We got a Mary Poppins review coming up very soon. And also check out my film channel on YouTube. And please be sure to subscribe to both of those because I do videos regularly over on both of those. So thank you guys so much for watching. Also, quickly, I did an interview with Danielle Nicolette who plays a seal on the flash the other day and it's up on the discussing film channel you guys can check that out she gives some teasers as to the rest of season five mainly to do with cicada to do with the west family and also she gives some updates on jesse l martin who plays joe who obviously hasn't been around due to medical 
issues and yeah so go check that out that was really fun talking to her so anyway guys i'll see you guys later goodbye Shut free.